Hi again, it's me, and I'm going to show you how to connect to a database with the fresh installation of Agile Toolkit. Uh, Agile Toolkit doesn't require a database, it can do a lot of things without the database, but in most cases you do need to have that connection, and uh, there are just a couple of steps you need to follow um, to uh, run, to store your data successfully in a SQL database. In my example I will be using MySQL and uh, the step number one is to actually instruct Agile Toolkit that it needs to connect to something. We implement that by going to the application uh, class and calling db connect. At this stage all the pages and all requests to our interface will attempt to connect to the database but um, unfortunately, it doesn't know where the database is located. By default, it uses a config default version, which is located inside the admin folder, and uh, it says use SQLite, but the folder doesn't exist, so it fails. Uh, to actually connect to my SQL, I'll have to duplicate this config file into config. I won't need that line over here. Actually, and uh, I will going to replace this with my actual details, uh, uh, with actual details of my database, username, password over here, and the database I'm willing to connect to. Now we're back over here, and this time the connection was made successfully. And as a next step, I want to create some very simple model and store its data inside this MySQL database. <coughs> as you might already know from the documentation that we need to define models first uh, before Agile Toolkit can use them by creating uh, a folder model inside my lib or can actually also be inside a shared folder and um, I will create a model called user and let's just briefly look inside this class. I define which table to use which is uh, table user over here and I want my model to have two fields one of them being email and second of them being password. I'm going to save and see if the table uh, already exists in my SQL um, and I probably just need to replace that with a simple CRUD. So I want user to be able to manage the records inside the user table and the table actually doesn't exist. One option would be create this user manually, but there is another option, and it is um, the creation of the user through uh, Auto Creator, is a special controller which you can add like that, and it is extension to Agile Toolkit. That's why it's sitting in, in a different namespace. And oh, sorry, wrong file to go inside the user. But before actually it can work, I need to install this um, install this lib. And so it happens that uh, it lives inside the standard pack of uh, ATK add-ons. There's no documentation for that yet, but I will draft an article because this is really nice thing and I will publish it on my blog. And this repo is the collection of all sorts of interesting um, uh, classes. And as you can see it has this auto creator which actually supports both MySQL and SQLite. Right. 
pretty, documented pretty nicely, but it doesn't has doesn't have its own page, and, and it's just a uh, one of the add-ons. So uh, there are more things over here, nice things, and I'm just going to grab that inside my folder. So that's uh, that's me, and uh, I need uh, I want to create. Actually, if we look at this error over here, you can see that it did try to add add-ons, dynamic model, of the creator. So essentially, this folder should create uh, should have a folder called add-ons and it will be just pull it from there let's see if it worked and it did awesome and now I can add a user and test password 123 and uh, If I do open my database, oh look, there's actually a table created with with the structure I I wanted to have. But that's not all. So let's say uh, I want to do something fancy with this, such as add a new field. I'm just uh, I'm going to okay. So my record remained over here. I can add another user test two. Let's look at the SQL structure. So actually, it was changed, and uh, it added a new field. I bet it didn't figure out that it should be integer. I can probably change that myself. Uh, okay, I think I need to go. But uh, the, the main point of this creator is that it gives you some resemblance of the database structure without you ever needing to go and create your table. So it is some, somewhat helpful and in the way how you uh, generate your database. That's it. I'll take it off from here in my later videos.